Today I'm going to give a tutorial on how to use Anki to memorise mathematical definitions. Ok, let's get into it. There's two different kinds of theorems you have to contend with and the first one is named theorems. So as an example I'm going to show you how to use Anki to memorise the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. So as usual open Anki, click on your deck and click add. Then come to card type and do close. First thing you need to do is type in your theorem. Okay, once you finish typing up your theorem, what I like to do is bold the title and underline it. And the great thing about named theorems is you can use the name of the theorem on the front of the flashcard and the theorem itself on the back of the flashcard. So I'm just going to come and I'm going to copy the theorem and do shift control C to create a closed deletion or shift command C and I'm going to do the same for the name of the theorem and then let's see what this gives us so the first card gives us the name and we have to give the theorem and then it also creates another card where we're given the theorem and we have to give the name of the theorem it's a great idea to add pictures this theorem is about the product of primes and we write p for primes so i'm going to put a picture of p's so let's go p's images and then this one looks great so copy that and go back to anki and paste it here and then as always tag your picture and click add the second kind of theorem you have to deal with is named theorems as an example, I'm going to show you how to create a flashcard for this theorem, which is about the properties of composition of maps. I'm going to break this card up into three smaller bits, one for each bullet point, A, B, C. This makes it a lot less frustrating when you're reviewing a flashcard because they're simpler and they're easier. It's highly recommended that you do this. So I'm just going to type up the first part of this theorem. Okay, there you go. Don't worry if it takes you ages to type these up, you will get quicker as you learn LaTeX and you don't have to look up what you need every time. So to remember this one, I'm just going to give it a name. I'm going to turn it into a name theorem. So we can call this one something like composition of injective maps. And then as before, shift command C, shift control C to hide the name of the theorem and the same for the theorem itself. And then I'm just going to bold this and underline this. Then you want to repeat this for each of the three parts of the theorem to create three flashcards. I'm also going to add a picture. So a great idea is to go to the Wikipedia page of what you're looking at. So let's go to Wikipedia injective maps. Let's come off the images. And then just steal a picture from there. So here we have pictures of some injective maps. So I'm going to take this one. And you might want to steal this one and put it on your definition for injective map if you're learning definition of injective map. So there, I'm going to add that in there like that. And then click add. Another way you can turn this theorem into a flashcard is to break it down into what it's actually saying. So the composition, composition of two injective maps is injective. This is a great exercise in itself because having to break it down like that and simplify it means you have to understand it and understanding it is the most important part. Don't make flashcards that you don't understand. And then we'll just come in here and highlight injective and create a closed deletion out of that. And if we go to cards, this is what this card looks like. Composition of two injective maps is injective. So I'm going to add another picture. So this time I've drawn a picture. So I'm going to come I'm going to paste my picture in there like that. There you go, it's just composition of injective maps. And then we're going to click add. Okay, that's the end of the tutorial. I just want to reiterate that understanding your theorems before you put them on flashcards is the most important part. If you don't understand them, they're going to be extremely frustrating to review. Also, it's okay when you're reviewing your flashcards to edit them or delete them if you don't understand. Sometimes it's a good idea to add notes of where the theorem is in your notes so you can always go back and look them up if you don't understand something. 
Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If you want to see more like this, then please subscribe. The Outward Pro t-shirts are now available to buy. There's a link in the description below. These are actually made by my mum, so all the profits go towards giving her a living wage. Thanks. See you next time.